Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, deal with a situation. So I was trying to play X Defiant um, from Ubisoft and on this particular computer, by the way, the computer that I have. Pretty impressive considering how old the uh, so, uh, hardware is. This CPU is a Xeon E5 2630V4 with only a base clock of 2.2 gigahertz. And um, I got a pretty old graphics card, the GTX 1060 with six gigabytes. But anyway, I was trying to get, I was getting this error. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Oh, okay, yeah, that's because I have uh, MSI Afterburner running. But basically, uh, it tries, when you load the game, Battle Eye service is installing it. Eventually, it fails. You get a f failure message over here where I'm moving my mouse. But it says, Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. You may not have the appropriate um, permission. So, I did a lot of investigation. Um, I went, oops. Let me see. Okay, great. This opened up perfectly where I wanted it to open up. So... Um, but yeah, so I was doing a little research. I came. School oh, is back. I'm not and sure what this is. Give me a second here. No idea why that. Oh, there was a video. Uh, this guy uh, was providing some tips. And um, anyway, this seems to be the problem. The battle eye. Um, so I actually put an exception. It. You may want to try this. Put an exception in your antivirus for the game path. Um, everybody's antivirus is different, but basically you just put in an exception. If you're not sure how to do that, Google it or YouTube it. Uh, there's plenty. But anyway, um, I came across some interesting articles. You see, this is from four years ago, but it seems like this has been a problem that pops up every now and then. Uh, but here's some helpful. If you guys know how to do the research, you can do Reddit, YouTube, uh, Google, and you can type the name of your game, the error message you're getting, etc. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to show you here, a little bit of this. Um, what's going on with my <laughs> web browser? Uh, okay, anyway, um, so long story short, um, since I knew the bat the problem was with Battle Eye, I s made I made a search for Battle Eye, B A T T L E Y E, and find out where the heck that lives on my gaming rig, on my PC, on my computer, right? So, what I ended up doing was um, I went to these different folders for the executables, the, um, uh, I guess I could go straight to the cut, but basically all the processes that I did, so for example up here, common files, if I were to go to common files, um, so I would go programs, common files here, battle I, so these two guys, if you right click, if you right click on each of these executables related to BattleEye, go to properties, go to compatibility, click this little box here that says run this as administrator. So I did that for each and every in, uh, instances, every version of BattleEye that's on my computer. Again, right click on the on the executable, go to uh, properties, compatibility, and make sure run this program as administrator is checked. Um, we really shouldn't have to be doing this, but for some reason could be a Windows or a um, Ubisoft situation here. So anyway, I, the next place I went to was this battle eye over here. And I went to Ubisoft. So I'm going to go to Ubisoft. I'm going to go to Game Launcher. I'm going to go to Games. I think that's what it says. Uh, no, you, yeah, Games X Defiant. So I go to X Defiant. And uh, for each of the executables, I right click go to properties and go to compatibility and make sure that this run this as administrator. So I did this for every every instance that I found of battle of the battle eye. Um, so um, and guess what? It didn't really work. So why do I, I would go ahead and run X Defiance and and it would come up with the same error error message. Um, so long story short I did some more googling and um, somebody mentioned that you what you could do is uh, let me see if I can find it battle eye oh there was uh, you can right click on this battle eye or be launcher dot e n i n e and what you could do here if you look at here it tells us that the 64-bit executable is located here so what some some person said that you can actually go to your uh, X defiant and put the entire path the the, the entire so C drive program files you can put all that namely this right here that I have highlighted here I'm moving my mouse and insert it and make sure it points to that I did that that didn't work for me so I reverted back to this original file but um, what I ended up doing is I simply did uninstall 
uh, battle eye. So I double click on this bat file. A bat file is kind of like executable, but it's um, it runs inside your command prompt, and this is what command prompt looks like. So it, it just runs in here. It doesn't really have a GUI or uh, graphical user interface. It doesn't really have it. Just it's a it's a piece of code that runs, and you can see what if we edit this, you can see the different commands that it does. But basically, um, it it un uninstall it. And then what I did is I installed it again. So I double. So I first I ran uninstall, and then I ran this one again, and then I proceeded to go into X Defiant. And when I hit play, then there you'll see that the little pop up will say, oh, "Okay, Battle I is running. It's installing." So it kind of installs it again, and that seems to be what actually managed to get my um, X Defiant to work. So. Uh, let me know if you, this was helpful for you. I know that's a lot of information. You may need to watch this video two or three times. <laughs> I do apologize for that. But basically, in short, um, make sure you go to all these different paths. Make sure you make um, Battle Eye and your game, in this case, X Defiant or whatever game you're having issue. Make sure those executables are allowed to be run as... Um, Oh, even this guy right here, battle, uh, battle BE service. So I right click on the executable related to battle I or the game in question. In my example, X Defiant, go right click on it, properties, go to compatibility, make sure this says run this program as administrator. And uh, you do that for all. Hopefully you come back into your Ubisoft in, or the game of your choice and hit play and hopefully Battle I doesn't give you any failure or no errors. But if it does, what you need to do is figure out where your game file, the games that's having an issue with Battle I, find that location. So here in this example I showed you it's in program files. It may be in a different location for you. Ubisoft, Ubisoft Game Launcher, games, the game, uh, the game that you have a problem with, X Defiant, look for the Battle I um, folder right here. And what you end up doing, if none of that uh, setting stuff as run as administrator doesn't work for you, you just uninstall the battle eye with the bat file here, and then you will proceed to uh, installing the battle eye here as well. And then what you do is just go back to the game, and it should work. So let me know if that's helpful. I struggled for this for about a hour or two and um, now I figured it out doing my own research experimenting um, hopefully you don't have any issues let me know if this helps you and uh, God bless I'll see you guys on the next video and goodbye